Wow, giant hands. Wow. Hello. <laughs> This statue is made entirely of paper. What the heck are you doing? I'm going to put your tongue on. I can do it. You can do it, I can. It's gone. It's good. Now you. Okay, let's have fun. Let's see right there. I'll show you. Oh my head. 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 Find out why she was so scared. Just a second. Oh my head. Oh my head. Oh my head. It's right here. Oh, it's oh, right here. Oh, hello. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello. 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 Fish lamb. Fish lamb? Flying horse. Aww. Flying horse. And this cow has an extra nose hole. Nose. Nose hole. This girl is on drugs. It's too happy. Happy! Okay, this is giant hand and this is my hand. Hello.
looks weird. Is it weird? Yeah. I think it's made for children, not for grown, uh, grown women and men. You're a woman. I'm too woman and men. I'm too big. <laughs> You're too big. Too big. It's hurting my back. Floating heads. Can I go back? Yes. Bye. Bye. Finding the most bizarre people, places, and things long before YouTube or the internet. The first Believe It or Not cartoon was published on December 19, 1918. At its peak, the Believe It or Not cartoon was read by over 80 million people a day in over 360 newspapers in 42 countries and in 17 languages. Believe It or Not was the most popular cartoon throughout the 1930s and 40s, and Rip himself was more popular than the president. Ripley was fascinated by primitive cultures, and he traveled to the most remote corners of the world to find his Believe It or Not stories. In his search, he acquired hundreds of artifacts, animal skulls, masks made of the blades 
the skin of human slaves, and even genuine human shrunken heads. In time, he opened numerous auditoriums to display his collection. Ripley's first Believe It or Not book was published in 1929, and a hugely successful radio show followed. Ripley was the first to broadcast from underground and from underwater, and to every country in the world simultaneously. Ripley even became a movie star, making 24 films. And by the mid-1930s, Ripley couldn't walk down a street anywhere in the world without being recognized and mobbed by fans. World War II slowed Rip down somewhat. He stayed stateside for charity events, military fundraisers, or simply sealed around on his famous Chinese junk. But in 1949, Ripley pioneered what could be called the first ever reality TV show. On May 26, during his 13th episode, Ripley suffered a heart attack on the air. He passed away in a hospital three days later. After Ripley's death, the television show continued on for more than two years, with celebrities and personal friends acting as guest hosts. The majority of his artifacts were sold at a four-day-long public auction, the lion's share being bought up by New York City entrepreneur John Arthur. And in December 1950, Arthur opened the first permanent Ripley's Believe It or Not Auditorium in St. Augustine, Florida. Robert Ripley, artist, author, explorer, radio host, television and movie personality, forever will be remembered for one of the most recognized and used phrases in the English language. Believe it or not. <laughs> hey Marlai, what are you doing? I was making funny faces in front of a mirror. I thought so. There's not a mirror. I think that was it. Yeah, okay, we're going back to uh, my life. <laughs> That's like even fun the way you play it back. What was that? That's a mirror, we are standing in front of it, doing the thing with the stunt. Oh, look, look, that's me. Is that where you make the tong of the maken? Yeah. Then can you see yourself. Oh, no. <laughs> So that's that side. It's also where Marilyn was scared of little spider. Yeah, you want to 
need some trash in injury. Lunchroom. Yeah. Yeah.
watching our little video about Ripley's Believe It or Not. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider to do so. Leave a like and maybe share. And below uh, here you can see a video of a giraffe licking our car. Ooh, a giraffe licking our car? Yes. Yeah, Natasha. And down here, maybe here or here, we have a little video about Jurassic Park, about Jurassic World, the exhibition. Bye-bye!